All right, guys. So for those of you who want to upgrade the home gym, but don't want to invest the time or the space or the money into setting up and building a squat rack, um, or you just don't have the time, like the space for it, like the car needs to go in the garage and whatnot. Um, like I've mentioned before about looking at a trap bar and then the possibilities of looking for an open-ended trap bar. So like this one I found with AlphaFit is the same price as most trap bars in the Australian market. Um, so this would be more versatile. So if you've got longer legs and you find when you're doing your trap bar squats that your knees are running into the front of the bar, um, you can face the open end and let the knees pass through without any issue and still maintaining that upright like stance and getting a nice deep quad dominant like trap bar squat. You can still do your hip hinge deadlifts, um, your bent over rows, even shoulder pressing, floor pressing, um, and bench pressing. So this is a great like entry level bar, like 275. It's the same price as a trap bar. Um, the only really issue, like you can load it to 340 kilos. Um, the only couple of issues I see with it are going to be the fact that the sleeve diameter is 48 mils. Like most bars, like Olympic bars will be 50 millimeters. So a, a lot of collars that you might have that you might be using to like hold the weights on will slide straight off. Like I've had this issue with specialty bars before where you put a collar on a lot of bicep bars. I like are using bicep bars from Watson um, and some of the collars don't fit because they're not a true 50 millimeter um, sleeve diameter. So be mindful of that. So like you could use lock collars where you, they have a, like a screw mechanism and you screw down, but they just get annoying when you're doing drop sets or you're trying to take the plates on and off. You might be working with a friend um, and then someone's lifting a different weight. So you're trying to change plates in between and the screw collars do take a little bit more time. Um, the sleeve length is only 25 centimeters or 250 millimeters. So if you're looking at a high end, like the higher end trap bars, they're going to be a lot longer sleeve length. So if you're training at home, a lot of the bumper plates that people buy at the cheaper end of the market are really thick. So you're going to run out of space um, along this sleeve here quite fast. If you use a couple of 25s, um, you'll probably fill up the bar. So keep those in mind when you're um, buying your trap bar. So if you've got short legs um, and you're not looking to do, you've got some dumbbells or kettlebells you can split squat with, maybe a regular trap bar is for you. But um, I highly recommend getting the, the open end. Basically, one for split squats, um, bent over rows and stuff feel a lot better in it. You can drive the elbows back and down. So it's a very versatile bar. Um, and for the same price as uh, most trap bars are in Australia at the moment. Um, and then hopefully down the track, someone like the Prime and stuff have a bit more distribution in Australia because I, I looked at shipping to Australia the the Prime, which is a uh, like a very good trap bar with a lot of uh, other extras. Like at that higher end of the market, you have handles that telescope, so you can do mechanical drop sets. They got um, barbell jack stands in them, um, but it's going to cost you a lot more. Like maybe like it's going to cost you uh, upwards of a thousand US dollars to get that shipped to Australia. So um, if you're looking at a great entry level bar, this bar by AlphaFit. Um, is definitely one to look at.